Well, here we are. Let's talk about knives. And we've got a couple in the studio here. Different colors, aren't they? Ganzo, Firebird. It's firing right off. It's the FH-91, not the 81, not the 71. Well, we just we just keep on rocking it, and it's in D2. Have we ever tested the D2? Have we? Oh, yeah, a billion times. Yes, we have. And it's real D2, and the HRCs, the Rockwell hardness, has seemed to be pretty high on these. That doesn't mean that everything about the heat treat was done well. That doesn't mean that the cutting performance will be off the charts, but it does mean that the Rockwell shows that the blade is pretty hard, which is a good thing, you know, wear resistant, all that. Here's one that you can't get. This was the special LTK edition. In other words, I ordered the gray one and then I threw it in the blue dye. So here it is, the one, the only, at least for the next 10 minutes, blue Ganzo FH91 in the universe. And it's, oh man, I like these. Uh, you know, my former favorite was, and probably still is, and I think I dyed this way. Yeah, I did in the same batch. See, this was lighter gray, this was darker gray, can you tell? But the same color dye. Okay, and so this turned out a lighter blue because it was lighter gray, darker blue, darker gray. And so people ask me about dyeing scales all the time. And man, it's a tricky business and I'm not an expert. I just plop them in. Hell, I got the old bottles of dye sitting out there that have been sitting there for six months in all kind of weather. Just dump it right back in the pan and go again. So, yeah, I'm not terribly diligent about things, but I mean, I like the results. So as long as I like the results. But take a look at these two, right? They're basically the exact same length. Do they look the same length? Does this one look bigger? But it's not really, right? Now you want to argue which one's better, the FH-41? There's three and a half inch blade. Can we agree on that? And we got eight inches overall. Bingo, let's try this one. I, I'm pretty sure they're the same length. Three and a half inches, eight inches overall, just a tad under eight. But actually, this one looks bigger. Flip this. So maybe that perspective will change a little bit. Same size. This one just for some reason seems bigger. And I'll tell you why. It's thicker and it's heavier. That's why. Because I did, I thought, I, I don't know, it just seems bigger, damn it. But it's not. So interesting there. And you can get it in green and I think brown and black. Gray, gray. You can't get it in blue, but you can make it blue. So, and what's crazy about these knives? Look at that. Oh, Flanagan, <laughs> sorry, I didn't even mention you. And then I kick him over on his back. Good old Flanagan from Patty Potato Peelers in Ireland. Thank you, Flanagan, for joining us. My wife did that, too. Knocked his ass right off the counter. <sighs> She's in trouble. But look at that. Wow. And it's centered. No blade play, no lock rock. These are really pretty damn well-made knives for $24. $24. Oh, by the way, July. July is the discount code for 5% off. I also revealed that in my Trader's Corner video on the 10th of July. But so this is later July, but July 5% off on Ganzo knives at Power Cutlery. So go to Power Cutlery USA, USA seller. I had these knives in two days, but I'm in Arizona. He's in California. So if you're in you know, on the East Coast, maybe three, maybe four days, but not three or four weeks, okay, from China. So you don't need to go to Fast Tech or any of that stuff. Just order them from him. And he's got a bunch. He's got the 41s, the 21s, the 11s. I mean, he's got them all. So at least most all. That is beautiful action. It's centered, no lock rock, no blade play. Solid, same with this one. That's nice. And this one's been apart, dyed, 
all put back together again, but it's no better than this one who's never cracked a screw yet. And look at that deep carry pocket clip. I mean, you, and, and this one will go left hand too. So many of the models, and I'm glad I reminded myself of that, so many of the models don't go left handed on these Ganzo knives. So this is a gift for the lefties right here. Although this is always still a right handed deal, but even the lefties can live with this part. Okay. They can live with this part, but when the pocket clip can't be reversed, it becomes a bigger situation. So yes. And they put a little plate on there. Now let's bitch and moan. Yeah. Could we have put a flat screw there? That'd have been nice. Could we put flat screws here to give you more of a gap for your pocket? Yeah, we could, couldn't we? Because if you look at this Civivi knife, look at, okay, they're flat and that's that. Now this is actually inset into the scale. So maybe we got uh, a thing where this is not, okay, and this is. So this gives you more clearance that way, but if we could, at least put flathead screws on top of all this. Wouldn't that be great? I think it'd be good. But you know, it's $24. Just keep saying to yourself, instead of it's only a movie, it's only a movie, say it's only $24. Yeah, that kind of forgives a lot of little shortcomings and there ain't many shortcomings on these. It's G10 folks, it's not FRN or some trashy stuff. FRN is not trashy, it's lighter and has its own qualities, but you know, G10 is nice, okay? And D2, okay, it's probably not the highest vanadium, most quality D2 ever put together by man, but it, it, it cuts pretty damn good and it's great to resharpen and strop back to a, a razor's edge. It's good and it's sharp and let's try it out. I've never got a bad one yet, so let's see. Wow. Yeah, that's that's good. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. They're both very sharp right out of the box. Let's weigh it up. What do you think? Any guesses? 118 grams. And roll around ounces. 4.17. Now, I was saying that 41 just seems smaller or something. 3.65, what's going on here? So this is much lighter at 103 grams, isn't it? Now, let's do another little comparison just for the hell of it. Let's get the green one out. Okay, word zero, how fat are you? 0.56, ooh, okay. And blade. Uh, 0.13, is that where we are? Yeah, 0.13 at, yeah, about three and a half millimeters. Here, eh, 3.3, .3. Eh, close to three and a half then. Let's call it even. But this 0.56, what do you think? No, 0.51. So 0.51 at 13.2 millimeters, 0.5, six at 14.4 millimeters so it's heavier it's thicker but it's the same length blade same length overall but it goes left hand now do you like the flat up here do you like that a little bit more of a reinforced tip than this one this one looks a little bit thinner i wouldn't call it fragile but this no, this is more. So, okay, I don't know. I can't decide now which one is my favorite between these two because this one just got this nice tall flat grind, piercing, slicing, lighter weight, same size, nice little choil up here, but the choil looks the same. And it's not really a good go forward position, but you can get up here and kind of pull back on this flipper tab and try and stay out of the way of that blade. Where this one's pretty much the same. See how that goes? Yeah, it feels the same. So you gotta try and stay out of the way on that. But ergos on these, good. 
Reverse grip, yeah. Ease of operation with the liner. Easy to get through. Great big old pass through right here. Nice. There's your lockup. Mm, that's 35%. That's pretty strong. Let's check this one out. Yeah, that's that's 30 to 35%, folks. So, man, that's that's pretty nice. I think we need to take one apart. God, let's take the blue one back apart. Hell, I know that comes apart. So, uh, we could take this one apart. We got jimping up here on the backspacer. Nice little lanyard hole that goes right through the backspacer as well. Jimp flipper tab. Jimping on the top of the blade here. And it's it's kind of rounded off. It's not so it's not too painful. It's not too raspy, but you could feel it. And yeah, it's such a neutral handle that it's it's pretty good for ergos. Uh, detent. It's just the way I like it. I'm pull pull, you know, but it's not easy to fail. Let me see if I can fail this. Oh, almost, but not quite. So you see what I'm saying? It holds long enough. Let me try this one since we do have two. They might be different. Ah, damn. There, isn't that amazing how consistent you can be on a $24 shooter? I mean, I see so many knives that yeah, that are in this price range that I just don't like. They feel cheap to me. Uh, they don't. They don't feel good. They don't feel well finished. And these do. I mean, even up around here, there's no real gotchas. See that? See the contouring on the scales? Uh, nice, grainy. Not overly grippy, but definitely not. You know, slick. I mean, they bothered to do little machining up around in here, back here and here. You know what I'm saying? I think they've done it pretty well. And these just have such, these are so fidget friendly. I mean, the cheapest, the best fidget knife for the dollar right here uh, are these little Ganzos. And they're not little. I mean, it's a full size. It's about the size of a paramilitary two. Three and a half inch blade is the size of a para two. So, I mean, you're not losing anything there, folks. Enough blade, enough thickness of the blade stock, but not too much. In fact, I have another thing I wanted to bring up because I think it's kind of interesting. You ever see these free tiger knives? Let me grab the box. Right? The FT-903. And that's the only one I'm talking about as far as the Free Tiger goes. Interesting knife. Really interesting knife. FT-903. Comes in blue, comes in purple, comes in black, whatever. But I've had these tested too. These are D2. If I swear to God, same manufacturer, don't you think? I mean, look at the pivots. Look at the kind of G10 and machining. Look at the hardware. I mean, to me, this just smacks of the same. Uh, so uh, my guess is these are Ganzos. And some people are like some of these uh, knife guys out there that won't, you know, won't even recognize these. They've been talking about the Free Tiger, how cool that was and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? This is just a Ganzo knife. So if you like the Free Tiger, help yourself. Get some Ganzos too. But the Free Tiger, pretty cool. Not quite the same drop. I haven't messed with this one, but not quite the same drop. Little stiffer. Might need a little backing off there. But these just, just, it just seems like the exact same. Although look at, you've got full liners here on both sides and they are not skeletonized, but uh, everything else just seems so similar. These, skeletonized. So, and they're embedded. Now, doesn't mean every one of them will be that way, but these two models are the 41 and the 91. 
And some people like that embedded liner look. Some people like it when the liners show. And it does feel a bit more structural, but it, each one to their own. Where's my balance point on this dog? There it is. Not bad. But yeah, detent. Yeah, I could kick it out. Uh, call it a 4, 4.2. But still, I mean, I can't fail it, so job well done as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's find out where we go. Let's find out where we go. Okay, well, side well chosen there, I guess. Uh, let's uh, put the rest. These are number sixes here. I don't remember. It's been a few weeks since I, since I actually uh, dyed this one, so can't remember which side I started out on last time. You got the other one? No, hell no. Come on, come on. There you go. Now, open this puppy up. Try not to cut myself. And oh, we're on this liner probably. Well, probably doesn't make any difference, does it? No. I don't have to take the pocket clip off. Uh, not a ceramic detent ball. Uh, looks like a D shape right there. So let's check, check the pivot. No, not ceramic bearings. Don't care though. That's not a big deal. And yeah, we do have a D shaped pivot. So that's why uh it was easy to unscrew and this side was not going to move okay good and there you go it's uh skeletonized of course this side is not but the liner's not super thick and i don't think you need to do that it's not that heavy anyhow so okay but that's easy to pop apart right there. Now, it was more difficult when I was going to dye it because I had to take off the pocket clip. I had to pull the liners out, take off the backspacer. I had to pull all the screws out of the front, including this clip and all that stuff, too, to get everything separated. But not now. That's all she wrote, folks. So there's your uh, stop. And that's it. That's pretty easy breezy. Uh, these are easy to take apart, put back together. I haven't had any hardware failures that I can think of. Uh, no, uh, not right off hand. Because if I would have, I'd have sent it back to power. And I know I've never sent anything back to power. So, um, no. Get yourself your 5% though while July's still looking you in the face. Because uh, it ain't going to be for long. Okay, come here. Yeah, I'll go in over here. I don't give a shit. Come here. There you go. Go where you will. There's the same size screws. Come here. And there we go. Okay. And yeah. Look centered up. Let's see if we got any play. Yeah, I know. And how's that drop? Just like it was. Yeah, nice. FH91. You want gray? You want green? Don't matter. They're the same price. Very inexpensive knives. Where'd the green one go? It's starting to run away. Power cutler is the place. And they've got other kinds of knives. Why start San Ren Mu? But they've got Kaisers and Wii knives and everything like that. So support the guy. He's a hardworking dude. Uh, and he's doing this. And this makes him no money. I guarantee you. I, I don't know how many of these you'd have to sell to make a buck. There ain't much margin in these. So I really appreciate John at Power Cutlery handling these and carrying these. Okay because it's so much easier to get them from a USA dealer. And I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. We do love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.